Hey what's up guys, Midget HD here again and I am here with the InFlight 200 November um, 2015 releases I'm on EasyToys.com, um, they got a sale on now, 20% sorry, 12% off the entire store using the code uh, it's here, um, not sure how long the sale is on for uh, but also if you click this banner uh, you get up to 75% off uh, certain items um, so yeah, go check them out um, anyway, let's go to the new releases. Some, about half of these are part of the November releases, others I just haven't gotten to. Um, so anyway, we'll start here with the British Air Tours, 747-200. Registration is GBMGS. Pretty cool looking aircraft. Um, aircraft name, City of Swansea. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Next we have a British Airways, 747-400. Um, City of Norwich. Um, this one I'm gonna get because it, it did. Um, they used to bring these into Auckland in this livery and um, their current livery, so I'll I'll get that one. We have a UTA Aero Maritime DC 10-30 polished um, registration FBTDE. Nice looking aircraft. And basically same one, UTA DC 10-30, registration this time is FBD, sorry, FBTDD. Then we have the KLM 747-300, registration is PHBUU, aircraft name is Sir Frank Whittle. It's a pretty cool looking aircraft in their um, classic livery. Or could be their retro, no, it'd probably be their classic, yeah. Um, again, 747300, this time registration is PHBUV. Aircraft name is Sir G. de Havilland, obviously. Um, he's uh, the founder of the de Havilland uh, company, you know, makes airplanes. Um, so a goose there, the world was just a click away, so that's probably the slogan that they had back then, I don't know. Uh, next we have an Eva Air 777-300ER, I've already ordered my JC Wings one, so I'm not going to get this one. Um, it looks like they made 144 models of this though. Registration B16725, it's a pretty good looking aircraft. Um, however, the, like the deep deep green like the seaweed green or whatever um, that's on the bottom of the well on the belly um, I'm not sure if it really matches you know this green that they've had uh, on the aircraft for a while um, something about it just doesn't look right uh, TWA 747-200 registrations in 305TW pretty cool Uh, next, SAS Convair 990A polished version, SEDAZ is the registration. Um, it's the aircraft name, I'm not sure what the first word says, but the second word says uh, Viking. Um, must be flag carry of uh, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. I'm not sure what this thing on top is, this little like dome. Thing. Okay, so next we have a Virgin Atlantic 747-200 in the old livery, registration G V I R G. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's just it's too plain. Excuse the pun, but yeah, it's just too, you know white and back then aircraft had a bit more style I would say but again we've got another one uh, just different registration uh, G V V G I N yeah and we've got 
in the uh, older livery, um, or older than the than the current one. Um, it was be just it was a livery just before that one. Uh, Sim four Sim four hundred registration G V H O T. It's an alright looking model. It's not bad. And we got another one, again in the same livery, different registration G V F A B. Um, they also released two more. Um, they released one in their current livery and one in their the current livery, but with the um, like the red ribbon. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's got like the red ribbon from the tail, like the the whole um, rear third of the aircraft is uh, red. Um, so I would get the current livery one, which which I know is out. I just don't know why Easy Toys hasn't put it up yet. Um, and I'll be, I'll maybe get the other one as well. Next we have a TWA Concorde registration in zero zero one TW. Not sure if it was actually in the colours or if it might might just be a fantasy model. Um, I mean, if it was in the colours, it'd, it'd be leased from British Airways or Air France. Next, a British Caledonian 747-200 registration G H U G E. Um, it's all right. It's not one I'm going to get though. And then we move on to the three Pan Am models. So we'll start here with a 747-100 registration N 737PA. Aircraft name: Clipper Ocean Herald. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, this is a maybe because they did bring these into Auckland, uh, the 100s and 200s, maybe SPs. Not sure about any 300s if they had any or if any of the 400s. Um, well, they probably didn't even have 400s. Um, but yes, yeah, that's a maybe for me. Um, 747 SP registration in 538PA. See craft name Clipper Princess Grace. Um, yeah, nice, but I won't won't be getting this one. And lastly, we have a seven two seven. It says seven twenty, but it's a seven two seven. Um, the or, the original series of the seven two seven. Ah, sorry, seven o seven. Um. Anyway, sorry about that mistake. Our registration in seven eight zero PA. Aircraft name Jet, Jet Clipper Carib. Pretty cool looking aircraft, but not one I need. So, um, pretty, well, some pretty nice releases. Uh, just to recap of what I'm going to get it's the British Airways SM47400. Um, and Possibly the Pan Am 741. Uh, yeah, not sure on this stage, but and those two other Virgin 747-400s I'll be getting as well, or well, at least one of them. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Comment, tell me what you think of these releases. Tell me if you're going to get any. Uh, subscribe for more. I have just put out five unboxing videos and three plane spotting videos. So go check those out, please. And next video will be. Um, JC Wings December 2015 releases and then I've got five more unboxings to do so it's quite a lot um, so stick around and share, share this video so other people can know about these releases and see if they want to get any as well so anyway guys um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time